and EBITDA of rupees thirty nine point nine eight crore during the quarter, which is fourteen point zero six percent of operational revenue. During nine months period, company achieved operational revenue of eighteen hundred seventeen point four zero crore and EBITDA of rupees nine hundred eighty eight zero crore. The profitability of rupees eighteen point nine eight crore is quite lower because of impact from profit of spent on business during first half. On account of slowdown in industry and incidence of fire interest in activation expense for several days, as operation of Varangal New York has started to pick up some third quarter onwards. Uh, so it is from my side. I would like to hand over the call to Yash to share up the business. Yeah, yes, please. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot, Gopal. Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, yeah, welcome all of you to our quarter three and nine months financial uh, advisory earnings call. I will quickly share the business updates uh, before taking up the series. Uh, as uh, rightly explained by Kapal, we are uh, more or less on track after a certain performance during the first half of financial year 24. Uh, owing to the downturn in the textile sector due to slower export demands, cheap imports, particularly from China, and uh, over capacities of uh, polyester in the Southeast Asian countries. So the setting of the textile sector is still far from over. Uh, we could slightly improve our performance coming from targeted monitoring strategies, improving product portfolio mix, and strong staff sourcing network. Uh, we could uh, bring uh, efficiencies in operations, sourcing of raw materials at uh, lower cost, and rationalizing the operational cost as well. Our asset bottle to bottle business has started to operate in full swing now. And we operated the existing production line at 86% of utilization during the quarter. Second production line of the granules as well as RPS uh, expansion capacity in Warangal are presently under commission and will be operational hopefully by the end of the month, making operations of our Warangal unit much more robust. Third production line of uh, our granules is also under transit and expected to reach as high by the next month and expected to be commercially operational by June uh, 2024. Uh, with approvals of our products from many market brands uh, uh, domestically as well as globally and getting repeat orders, we now have a very fair visibility of the market um, through targeted search. So the marketing of recycled filament yarns will also will still take a couple of quarters uh, to reach that optimum, or optimum utilization levels uh, owing to the downturn in the textile industry. Uh, after our implementation of the opposite production line, first the of extension should be up and operation uh, to fuel the first growth of the business, rationalizing the debt levels and enhancing the long-term resources. Uh, we have also issued equity shares worth of crores and warrants worth of crores um, to institutional investors and promoters of the company. Uh, fundraising has been completed during the first week of the February 2024. Uh, this will help us solidify and even strengthen our strategic position in the recycling industry going forward. Uh, with this, we would we would now invite you with, with, for any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question, please start with one or the test one. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Simple side question. Two hands is while asking a question. We will wait for a moment while the question queue as well. We have our first question from the line of Ashish so from family office. Please go ahead. Yeah, so regarding the headwinds, when do you think uh, or how long it can last? Because we are seeing a recession in different parts of the world also. So what's your think on that first question? Yeah, so uh, definitely you see, you are right. Uh, you know, we, there is also there is currently, uh, you know, ongoing downturn, downward trend in this segment. It's very difficult to comment right now on till how long it can go on. Um, the experts have suggested that uh, you know it might take uh, uh, around a year or so and, uh, until again the, again the entire industry you know starts uh, uh, to good utilization levels. So that is the current expectation that we have. But yeah, it's difficult to really predict um, you know what the future scenario would look like. Okay. Second question on this line, you said. 
and uh, no that will be involved in the future uh, project expansions or uh, uh, so we so uh, we, we we have not uh, made any great uh, extension plan as of now we are discussing uh, the extension plan uh, and whenever any uh, extension plan will be finalized uh, we will let you know uh, but uh, of course and uh, we have raised the capital so we are not looking for any debt as of now uh, just one last question uh varun sagrajee on the call mentioned that indurama is putting up two uh, two lines uh, by end of uh, year so uh, he uh, special on the raw material sizing or on the uh, utilization levels that we are seeing in the next year any commentary on that no not really so basically you see that uh, the raw material availability in india is also growing at very unprecedented levels but consumption is in india itself is growing at uh 30% tiger approximately uh, as of today and uh, consumptions are increasing at a very very good rate for in india right now because india was already on a par uh, consumption so the average consumption levels if you compare it to so uh, not not really we don't think it should be a problem because uh, we already have a very good uh, raw material sourcing part and um, we uh, source raw materials on a very very big scale today and because of which uh, our, our raw material sourcing capabilities are quite uh, stringent uh, as of today so thank you so much for my opportunity for more questions and for all the thank you before we take the next question Everybody will all the questions. Thank you, Mr. Star, and one. Who asked the question? The next question is the line of Suraj Sawanda. Line of Suraj, please go ahead. Good afternoon. Uh, so, what is the debt as on uh, December uh, on our balance sheet? Please, Suraj. Uh, I uh, uh, question at you. What What is the debt? What is the debt on the balance sheet as on December? As of December, the net debt is about six hundred crore. Sorry, uh, come again. How much? Net debt is about six hundred crore. Six hundred crore. Okay. okay. Uh, and sir, uh, for how many days did we get uh, in Q3 uh, our new uh, line that we are starting? Uh, how many days did we operate it in full capacity? Uh, so uh, you see, uh, the first few days in product sales basis for us. In general, we are already at 87 percent in the last quarter, and uh, in the current quarter, we are sitting at about 90 percent. And uh, the other ones, the other ones which are being uh, operational by the end of this month, so uh, we are expecting to get the full utilization uh, in the next quarter. Yes, but in Q3, how many uh, did we operate this line at 80 percent capacity for the whole of the three months, or did we get only one month? No, 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 no. It is for the quarter. It is for the quarter. Okay, so for Q3, Q3 we operated at uh, 86 percent. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, and sir, what was the revenue uh, from the Telangana uh, plant? If you can uh, give out the exact number. Uh, yes, so uh, basically from the Telangana plant uh, revenue, uh, the additional uh, incremental revenue is about 40 crore. 40 crore. 40 crore. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, sir. That is all. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening to all the participants. You may press press and one to ask a question. Question is from the line of Rumi from Coinvest. Please go ahead. Hi. How much output will continue to remain a stable size sector, and what percentage can we expect moving towards a full grade or FMCG sector or other FMCG sectors? Also, presently, most of our uh, 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 our main product is RPS, uh, that is uh, for the textile uh, value chain. We uh, got uh, the more is a technical and non-owned textile value chain. So, uh, primarily, it is for the textile value chain. Yeah, going forward, we are going to this market renewals. So, this is for the packaging sector, and uh, 
presently we are having the 40000 uh, ton line which is about uh, uh, 10% of our overall production capacity but uh, after the expansion of our uh, to more lines uh, from warangal itself it will be around 44 to 5% the overall revenue from the warangal union In terms of planning, what percentage would be towards a uh, non-textile? And uh, number two, would the realisation from non-textile be higher and the margin, gross margin be higher? Uh, so basically, uh, 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 we uh, in the ne- uh, in the next uh, year we would be having the total stall capacity about seventy-nine thousand ton in our Wangal unit. So out of which forty-two thousand will be for the uh, asphalt drain wall. so it is almost 55 54% the total and uh, yeah so the revenue uh, is different from the different quarter revenue license so in case of uh, uh, filament yarn the, uh, the realizations are uh, much more than this rp uh, inverse but in case of fiber it is lower than the rp inverse Uh, in your uh, presentation, I spoke of 90 rupee per kg realization or 90,000 per ton realization, which is predominantly textile focused. Uh, non-textile would also be around uh, 90,000 uh, per ton or higher or lower. Can you give some opinion on that? And number two, uh, for this product, so, yeah, this is this is the thousand times for the textile business. Of course, uh, and mainly it is of the RPS of business. Then, uh, of course, uh, for the packaging sector, the legislation is uh, more than this uh, nine rupees. And uh, the increase uh, in uh, the top plant of any person, etc., uh, that is because of higher legislation or any other factor. So overall, the extra margin is around twelve percent, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it, it is because of the higher legislation. Yeah. So, sir, uh, why are we getting higher realization in South when the overall textile segment is getting a lower realization? So, so you see, it also depends on the product mix. Uh, see, because uh, in uh, in textiles there is a huge product range uh, ranging from seventy-five uh, rupees a kg of a product to hundred and twenty rupees a kg of the product as well. So, our idea in the last paper also we have we had told that the idea is that we are working very very uh, aggressively on uh, on on uh, on making a Better product marketing mix for us uh, by you know by entering um, specialized uh, products by entering into special uh, value added products and even the textile segment. So it it really is a blended. You know the average realizations are a blended uh, pricing of these different varieties of products. There are there are more than 500 varieties. Of what we do today. But it's not really, you know, it's difficult to, you know, comment on uh, how and why. Basically, in the South India plant, we have our, we have designed our lines uh, in a way that we will be able to, and we are focusing on much more value-added products and uh, different kind of a product portfolio than what we have done in the uh, existing capacities. Because of that, um, the uh, profitability as well as the realizations are slightly different. Just one last question. Uh, as we spoke about Indorama adding capacity, I think there's a capex uh, being done by all the large players in this space. Uh, how do you see uh, the added capacity across all players impact on uh, demand uh, from the customer side and fixed up pricing on the raw material side? Sure. So, so, so basically, definitely yes. You know, the prices are coming up, and in fact, the demand. If you look today, there is a huge demand that is going to be created uh, in the next coming coming five years because uh, today the consumption of tomatoes in India is almost at zero percent, and it is going to go to fifty percent in the next fifty uh, percent in the next five years. So, a market of a million tons of arpa is going to be created, uh, and the current. Capacities are not even five percent of what what is needed for the next couple of years. There is going to be a huge growth scenario, uh, both from the demand as well as the supply side. So you know we're not. I mean, there's a new market which is going to be created in India um, soon. And uh, on the feature of price, yes, you know, obviously uh, in the short term there might be uh, you know some variations. We stop pricing because uh, you know it is in demand. Um, but at the same time, a lot of PT-based uh, input material or or the consumption of PT is also growing unprecedentedly, unprecedentedly right now in India. 
both in packaging as well as retail. So a lot of these stuff is also coming to the market um, uh, on a daily basis. Um, a lot of switch is happening for polymers to, towards PC because of the uh, recycling benefits, because of the sustainability benefits. And so the availability of raw materials is also increasing parallelly um, at a very high growth rate. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Amrish Kumar from Geospace Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to understand if you have had any conversation with a beverage company or a food company or a subsidiary company to supply a bike. And uh, what is the demand looking like for a company? Yeah, so basically, definitely we are working with over 40 brands right now in India as well as globally regarding our RPET or our RPET annual uh, market. And uh, we have got all around uh, 15 approvals already and the other ones are at the final stages of uh, product trials and uh, approvals and, uh, and that. So uh, for FI25, we see a very strong demand and fair visibility for our uh, to uh, to you know operate our uh, capacity to a very uh, good optimum utilization level. Okay. So, sir, the eighty-seven percent utilization for last quarter, I would believe we would have sold about three thousand tons of parcels. And then next year, we would have a capacity of eight thousand tons for the full year, and. About 42,000 tons at least six months, right? Correct, correct. So, what do, you, what do we think that uh, how much uh, can we sell next year? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we are hopeful uh, to deliver uh, about 90% utilization for the 28,000 tons and for the uh, uh, 40,000 tons. Uh, we are expecting uh, another uh, the production about 7,000 to 8,000 tons for, uh, for the uh, six to seven months of its time. So any, any guidance on uh, how much more profit you earn on RPEX is compared to your RPSF? Uh, any any um, color would very, very much be useful. So, see, definitely, definitely the uh, margin profile currently is slightly better than the textile business. Also, we are uh, working to improve our margin profile on the textile business also, but uh, not really comment right now. Money profile due to the sensitivity of the nature of the company. Um, uh, but uh, definitely we are we are trying to improve our margin profile overall um, uh, on on both textiles and textiles as well. So definitely better than the current Third line will be operational for June and what about fourth and fifth line? Uh, so uh, we, we are uh, we are planning for the fourth line. Uh, orders of which will be uh, will be uh, given very soon and. Uh, uh, for so the fifth line, we have not yet completed, so we are adjusting. And uh, mm. when we will come back. One line, sir, one line of 14,000. Uh, so we, we, we are also working on uh, working on the uh, cost because of the uh, changes in scenario uh, and the delivery time uh, for the uh, for the production line. Uh, we, 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 this will be uh, slightly different from the uh, cost which we have already incurred on three lines. So, so what? So let me ask this question. So, what was the cost for first, second, and third line? Uh, so, it, it, it is it is very difficult to uh, because the uh, entire uh, warranty project has been uh, having there are so many production uh, lines. Uh, it is RPSF, it is CPSF, it is a uh, two weeks annuals, and uh, also it is a filament yarn. Uh, so, uh, most of the uh, uh, civil work and the uh, utility uh, are common. So it is difficult to carve out a, a precise cost for a, a single line of the arc. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, and uh, look forward to even better performance in the coming quarter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Sri Jaga from the Sarya Family Trust. Please go ahead. Yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, so actually, I'm looking at the company, so I'll have some of the first verification while I was going through the presentation. You mentioned the second line of corporate granules will start by June. But, uh, when I look at the PPD, slide number uh, presentation uh, 124, you mentioned that the corporate granules capacity is 14,000, and I believe it's a commission, right? 
so basically there are three production time we are touching so one is already up and operational and the product we have implemented we are already operating at this percent in country and the second line is under implementation which is hopefully to be operational by the end of this month and third line is under uh, uh stretch and that will be expected to be operational by june so overall three production lines are there by the end of this month and uh, the third line uh, is a fixed uh, wish important of jain june twenty four. so uh, by june for entire year of 78000 will be operational june 24 yeah how much capex you have put in the varangal so far uh, so it is about 64 capex we have spent so far So far, we have incurred six hundred crores, and the whole capex is estimated around six hundred crores for the entire project. Okay. My next question is on the bet mention number you mentioned, six hundred crores. This is before we have the money coming in. Yes, yes, yes. So the obviously after the money has come in, the bet has gone down. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, second, uh, when you mentioned, like I believe, we have the fifteen percent revenue growth rate and. Uh, uh, so I, this is more like a just a general guidance, or the numbers took very different than what you are writing on the production side of it. Uh, sorry, again, complete command. So under seventy-eight thousand, when you look at the utilization, what is the probability of production will be at least fifty percent higher compared to last year? Ah, uh, that's the production also be higher by fifty percent. Yeah. Five zero, you mentioned. Yeah, five zero. Yeah, five zero. Sorry, I missed. I missed. No, no, five zero, fifty percent. Okay, okay. So when I look at the realization, or I was doing the math, three thousand units, three thousand basically ये अन्ना forty crore of revenue. I was doing somewhere about one thirty, one thirty two rupees kind of realization. Is this a number what you are getting from the Fed tips? Uh, no, no, it is a combination of uh, uh, some filament, yeah, some PPS and some chips. Okay, so the market is still higher than that number also. No, no, it's lower. It's lower. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, sir. Thank you for my side. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may press star number to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Chinese area. Is shop booking limited? Please go ahead. Ah uh, yes, thank you for the corner. uh any comment on the implementation of the epr uh, guidelines i understand our clients are global and uh, they have their own internal uh, targets but uh, how is the uh, guidelines uh, in, in guidelines being implemented on ground yeah so as of yet the update that we have is that uh, it is uh, it is to be implemented uh, as planned so it will be later support we have from the government Uh, and uh, in the south plant, we have some fifty bees. Uh, since the production has begun, uh, uh, do we expect any subsidies to flow to in SP twenty four and SP twenty five? Yeah, we are expecting. We uh, the production has been started, and so we have also filed for application for the subsidy. Uh, so hmm, we are expecting the subsidy to come from the uh, next financial year. Uh, can you quantify uh, the amount? Yeah, so uh, there are uh, there are number of factors on which the subsidy is depending upon. Uh, so uh, so the um, the subsidies are in the process of uh, analyzing the investment and uh, uh, within the parameters of their scheme. So the exact number we will be uh, able to um, uh, once uh, once the authorities uh, analyze our investment and all those details for their parameters. Uh, okay. 
Uh, you mentioned that uh, we'll be targeting a revenue production growth of 50% in FY25. Any guidance on the margin trend? Yeah, so the overall margins we are expecting uh, about 15 to 16 percent uh, EBITDA margins on overall basis. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ashish Soni from Family Office. Please go ahead. Yeah, so you spoke about a uh, 1 million uh, ton demand in 5 six years. So, how, what's your ambition to capture how the percentage of this and what sort of effect for capturing this demand, whatever you're thinking right now? Uh, so, we are expecting to capture, uh, uh, to remain a significant player uh, in this overall uh, demand, uh, demand growth cycle. And uh, uh, but it should not give you any ballpark number as of now. Uh, but uh, surely we will be, uh, we will be uh, expecting to remain a significant player in this entire. But is it like 30% sort of thing? What's the condition? Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course, they are having the ambition of 20%, 30% market share. What about CapEx? How much CapEx will be required to achieve this particular uh, uh, share you mentioned? So, so uh, at least we have to work out for this. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Suresh Navanda from Sampada Investments. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, sir, uh, upon the raw material security, uh, is there any scope to import the raw material? Yeah, so... Uh, uh, the raw tap bottles we cannot import is banned in the country. Yes, government has allowed uh, 15 percent of the vast flats, uh, vast uh, allowed import of vast flats up to 15 percent of the production achieved in, in the last year. So uh, whatever the production uh, we achieve, we will be achieving FY24. 15 percent of that will be allowed to be imported in the form of pet flats. Okay, and that is easily available, or is, uh, there is also we have a very uh, tight situation. Uh, sorry, that wash like uh, flex which we can import uh, is it easily available, or also uh, so so basically some uh, some of the wash flex is coming from the, our Nepal unit, uh, and uh, some uh, we uh, and uh, we are also uh, exploring uh, other countries where we can source the. Uh, vast flex. As of now, uh, as the material is amply available in the country itself, so we are not not much focusing on the import side. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Rumi from Coes Invest. Please go ahead. Uh, I would like to understand uh, what is the correlation of the uh, customer pricing with respect to virgin materials. Uh, are we getting a premium? Is it similar? Is it at a discount? And uh, secondly, if the oil prices in future do you see it as one of the business risks? Okay, so basically, yes, you are right. Uh, there is currently a ten percent premium uh, in the recycled pet market as compared to the virgin market. Uh, also, because the cost of manufacturing is are also on uh, on the side as well uh, when you compare it to virgin pet uh, granules. Uh, now, uh, I think coming on to the crude side, so uh, you know definitely currently, what since the recycled pet market is fairly fairly new, uh, it is being always being compared to virgin pet market. Uh, if you look at the developed econo economies worldwide globally, uh, at some point of time there is going to be a uh, there is going to be a delinkage between the virgin pet polymer and the recycled pet polymer. Recycled polymer is going to be is going to be in use, and uh, because of the regulations which will be applicable for using recycled polymer, and of course as a as a as a choice to use at uh, use it in processing applications. So definitely, currently there is a link, but going forward in the in the, in the coming years as we develop and the industry matures, there is going to be a delink. So it is going to depend very on um, on the uh, oil cost, the crude oil prices. It is going to depend on the collection cost and the um, the recycling cost, uh, which will be prepared to uh, use the uh, waste. Of the
Thank you. A reminder to all the participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. As there are no further questions from the participants, I would now like to turn the conference over to the management for closing comments. Thank you. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today on the call. I hope we have been able to achieve our studies. We also thanks uh, to Mr. Manish for hosting this call. Have a good day. Thank you. We are for Kansas Booking Limited. This concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us. We are now disconnecting.